<laughs> what? What? Sick, isn't it? What do you want, George? Hey, George. You hey, always filming us, I. Another camera on me? Can't go anywhere without George filming. <sighs> Got the mighty Cadillac here beside us, underneath Daniel, beside me. Always picked this whip up last, late last week. Wednesday last week? Yeah, mid, mid last week. So this has got a full, full airbag, just 10 minutes, AccuAir, isn't it? Yeah, AccuAir. AccuAir. Dual compressors, five gallon hot dog tank. There you, you know. go, lots of fancy things. All the, um, so all the, the works. Original, hey? All the works. All the works, yeah. It's got the original 429 Caddy donk in it. Uh, it's a big hammer. So, got skull drag here in a tow truck. Had a quick look over it, um, and it didn't look too bad, so we decided we'd try and get it to fire it up. So, late Thursday afternoon, we did get it to run, but it ran like a bag of, a bag of bad things. Friday morning, had another look at it, found the, I don't even know how it ran Thursday, because Friday morning found that the timing was 180 degrees out. So we bang on. Bang on top dead. That's good. We bang on top dead, George. Bang on. As you can see, it's an American car specialist made in Punch Bowl at Belmore Road, 67. ADM delivered. So fix that up, hit the key, and she's purring now. Like a kitten. Like a kitten. Fixed a couple fuel leaks, put a radiator in it. Took it for a few hot laps. Thank you for a hot lap. Yeah. Got it running, runs good. Runs well enough to warrant leaving it in there. We're just gonna, we're gonna run through it, probably pull it out, paint it, put it back in, and then rub all the primer back so that she's all one patinaed color, one. One, one color. And then whip it around, I think. Just cruise him around, do the brakes, all that sort of safety sh stuff. And then go to the drive-in theatres. Yeah, go to the go to the drive-in. Take the homies to the drive-in, six deep. Put the boys in the back. Yeah. Himmy's GDR yesterday, went on the dyno yesterday at Edge, and it ended up, yeah, making 640, 640 horsepower at the wheels, at the rear wheels, because it was dynoed on just a, a rear wheel hub dyno. So 640, uh, we'll get that front shaft put back in, so it's all wheel drive again, obviously. But that's very good numbers for quite little boost. Um, it is a, so it is a HKS 2.8 strokey kit in there like an old school old school cool stroker kit so stroke the uh, old school good results from an og setup with some modern touches so we're just doing some finishing touches on that getting it all buttoned up ready to go we've got to put a few little um aero things on the front and uh diffuser diffuser put the diffusers back on and then yeah tidy up a few other things get some gauges working properly on the inside and then all the carbon fibre bits put all the carbon fibre bits on it yeah and then hit me all take that back and then yeah what are you doing gonna do a bit bye bye now Watching. sam's gonna go do a bit Here you go, take that thank you thank you sir thank you very much right, hop in there you hop in there um pretty well what i gotta do is finish buttoning up this pen and wide body kit for it to go to paint and panel um had from the rear bar fitment, I mean front bar fitment, front. We had we had obviously the intercool sort of hit hit the five glass front bar anyway, so we got a clearance front bar and then we actually moved the intercooler back a bit. Now we're about to notch the chassis out here to be able to have enough room to run our oil cooler because we are running aircon in this as well, so we're limited to some space over here. Looks like we got a lot, but we don't have a lot. So yeah, that's what I'm about to get up to. And yeah, George is gonna go back into his office and do a bit. Sam's just crouching up in his boot. Oh, sorry. What? Ow. There you go. Terrible. Anyway, I'll leave you with it.
jazz in it. So, got the big girl outdoors yesterday afternoon, back on the ground. It's been a minute or two. As you can see, and probably from the previous episodes, we've got the pan and wide body now on the R32. Gonna send it off to paint shortly. Pretty much had to just tweak a few things yesterday, and no, probably today if you're off. I don't know. To, yeah. This week, during this week, we had to tweak a few things. So, obviously, because we've got the big plasma man intercooler, we had to notch out the front bar. I feel like I've spoke about this, George. I think, yeah. yeah. So to get it at a somewhat, somewhat reasonable ride height to where we want it sitting roughly to be able to just have a overall rough idea of where everything has to sit. We, um, while we we're waiting on airbag cups to turn up in the mail, we couldn't get low enough coil overs. So for the meantime, we've I've pulled the springs out. So she's as close as it can go to the ride height we are expecting to be at. And it looks Good. See, look how low it is. Winner. And yeah, it's a quick little run through George, eh? And now we're gonna give her a little little bath and yeah, just fully strip it apart and have a rolling shell ready to go to paint and panel. Oi, ready? Watch this, George. You gotta film this bit. Getting a Red Bull. Oh, you like dad. Hey. Where are you going? I was just asking. You keep bro. on you all the time, eh? I was just asking. 233, so we got, got my little, uh, got me little 33 on the hoist here, so for those of you who've been following. Oh, sh there's a bit of dirt in there, oh, sorry. welds on that. Cool pot. Got a bit of dirt. Took the 33 out to the cruise the nights. Cruise the night at QR on Saturday night. Pretty good, pretty good event for anyone who's wondering, wandering. Anyone who's wondering, check it out. Yeah, I definitely go and check it out. Heaps of cars there. Very good. Very like I don't know if anybody did downshift circuit and coffee like five, six, seven years ago. It's the same sort of vibe. It's very cool. Lots of cars too. Very, very good. Uh, anyway, took it out. Got there at like 6:30. All the sessions were booked out till like quarter past nine. So booked in for one of those. Waited two hours. Got there first race. Spotted bearing. Made a noise right as I said that. Sorry, bro. Spun a bit. Oh, That's the noise it made too. Yeah, it's yeah. sort of like. Got out there, raced a Subaru, raced a little Subi uh, next, and then, yeah, backed off and heard it again, and it was a bit more consistent this time, so. Uh, limped it off the track, and then drove it home. <laughs> drove it 40 minutes home that night, Got then home, drove it 40 minutes here the next morning. And where, are, where is my bearing? She's a trooper. So we spun. Holy! Where is it? 
Did, oh, you, yeah. just, did you just check that out? Look at that. You got your bearings? Yeah, here you go, George. You got that? You like Have that? a go at that. That's cylinder six rod bearing. The worst part about it is, well, there's no worst part. We knew exactly it was gonna happen, but the thing is, it's good and bad. Nothing went wrong. Nothing, like there was no oil pressure, no tuning issues or anything like that. Um, it's just like, if I went and got all the other bearings, they're just old, they're just worn. It's a stock, there's a stock 30 bottom end, like 20 year old bottom end with who knows how many Ks on it, 300,000 Ks. And they're all starting to get um, like coppered. So that's when when the copper starts coming through on a bearing, that's how you know they're, uh, they're about done. They're cool. And that's pretty much what happened, so. Sad boys, but anyway, uh, I've got the Forge 25 going in it now, so that'll be done in a week or two. And it'll be back out on the streets and back for wow. sale. So we got 30, Daniel's got the 32 pretty much finished up, got all his guard work done, and we are just pretty much stripping the final little bits of it off until it goes to paint, eh? Yep, yeah, well. Sure are. Yep, it's going paint. Yeah. Paint panel. It'll be there for a while. Hey, Ray, how are you? What do you got? Hey, Ray. Oh, yeah. St. Thomas. What did we get here? Is this a new SR20 gearbox? No. Oh. oh. Do you know what this is? Symbolization station. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Jesus. What's that? It's not, is it? So this is the Samsonis sequential gearbox that will be attached to the 2JZ that's going in the yellow S15. Um, we'll get him unboxed and we'll get it made it up to the to the this. Oh, bro. And we might, we'll, you'll see that later. You You're will. see it now. You will see that later. It's going to be sitting on that new bench of ours. Yeah, we'll yeah, see that, yeah. boy. Keep it, yeah. Yeah. You can have a little sneak peek. Just cheeky little. Really. Fade to black. Stay in, the door. Stay in front of the dog. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. See you later. See you on the next episode. See this? Welcome back to the next episode. <laughs> <laughs>